Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Anti Cloud King, and today we're gonna be talking about why this update really sucks. So, before we start the video, please do me a favor give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, I have a lot of hatred for this update. Like, it has to be one of the worst updates that Supercell has given us. And it doesn't just make it hard for free-to-play players, but it also makes it hard for pay-to-win players. Like every player. This is gonna be the first reason why this update sucks. We're gonna be talking about the Mega Draft Challenge. And the Mega Draft Challenge is such a big flaw because Especially if you're a player who either uses one or two decks, or you're a player who's at Arena 15 and you just got introduced to the Path of Legends, it can be really tough for so many. And as a player who personally uses either Log Bay or 2.6 Hawk Cycle, I just don't like this because I don't usually upgrade my other cards and either many of my cards are level 11 or other of my cards are a lot under leveled. This makes it really difficult because again, I just use my wild cards, I just use my golds only for these two decks. And it's again difficult for both pay to win and free to play players alike. And it's even more difficult for those who are wanting to climb the path of legends. So now I'm gonna go to my next point. We're gonna be talking about the season shop. So in the season shop, you could buy cards, bags of gold, wild cards, emotes, banners, and even the Archer Queen. But if you look at how we can only get up to 1k a day without the boost, the season hasn't even started until like April 2nd, 3rd, 4th. So how are we even supposed to get the Archer Queen card within like 27 days? That doesn't make any sense. And who the hell is gonna spend 50 gems a day just to get up to 60k tokens without events? Like, in my opinion, it really is not worth it to just spend 50 gems a day. And just calculating, so theoretically, if you get 50 gems a day for 30 days, that should give you about 1500 gems. And each emote costs like 250 gems, right? Yeah, like, why not save it for these emotes? Like, you can get whatever emote you want. I love getting emotes either to troll on toxic players, or I just like to have fun with it and just goof around. <laughs> so, now I'm gonna move to my third point. We have the Events tab revamp. And this is, again, one of the worst things with this update because if you go onto the Battle tab and you go to the Hamburger icon here, you can notice that there's no party I no party button anymore, right? That's because they already removed the party icon. This means you cannot get gold or chests anymore in these two modes. Like, what happened to the party icon? Why would they remove that? So, the only way for me to get chests and gold these days is to just battle so I could lose, like, risk either losing my trophies or losing my position in the Path of Legends? Oh, no way am I doing that. And I don't know why this is an events tab, because like, how's it an event if this is all here or like, it's always there or something? Why not bring the party tab back? This is gonna be my last point of this video. We're gonna be talking about Pass Royale, and this has to be the biggest reason why this update is so bad. Just a month ago, you could get not only crown chests, but you could also get wild cards, chest keys, books, and even royal wild chests. If you open these chests, they guaranteed you a champion if you were in Arena 16 or above. So, in this chart, thanks to API, this compares the free to the gold and diamond royal passes. And compared to last month, for the free pass, even in the free pass, you already got wild cards, chest keys, and there was even the royal and wild chest, which, in that wild chest, it was a guaranteed champion, which made it easier for players to get champions. 
And even in last month, there was the Royal Wild Chest, but since all that is gone, this just urges players to pay even more, like pay $6 just to get these wild cards and chest keys. Which again, in my opinion, it's not really worth it anymore to get these wild cards. Like, I'm not gonna spend $6 for all that stuff. Who the hell is gonna pay $12 for a diamond pass? And I know it gives you f like 500 gems, but again, I don't really think it's worth it. And there's also another diagram for Royale API. This is an even more detailed chart of the comparisons between the old and the new Royal Passes. Even in the old pass, you still got a lot more card value. Not to mention, you could even get the Book of Books in some seasons. But this isn't the case anymore. And even the current Gold Pass just gives you a lot less than the pass last month, like the $5 pass. So, and that's why I really think this update is for losers. And again, before we end this video, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment down below what your thoughts on this update is. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.